Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. So in this chapter, we are going to look at how to use XML templates to split the, split the output into multiple pages. Um, so if you have seen a video prior, we have used the grouping. Um, here we can use a different technique. We are going to use the position. So in this case, um, we are going to group it by, uh, you know, by let's say the first hundred rows go in page one, first thousand rows. Or first thousand rows goes in page one. Next thousand goes thousand rows goes to page two. So it's a it's a different kind of split. Um, so you, you know you would get the concept uh, while doing the uh, lab. So it's not like the other 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 uh, uh, example that we have. So again, uh, we're going to look at uh, how to use split in multiple pages. Uh, you know, as always, there is a zip file available for you to download, and um, feel free to download and try it out. So um, uh, the final output is, is going to look something like uh, like this. So the final output will look something like this. You have uh, two sheets where uh, you know you have the data split between two sheets. Um, um, nothing fancy, but you know I don't know how 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 much practical use it has. But I I like you to try it out to try out the different uh, different methods of uh, splitting. So as always, you would have a uh, you'd have a uh, you know you'd save as an Excel file. Um, you would you know you open an Excel file, save it as Excel ninety seven two thousand three. Copy the XML metadata. Let's look at the temp. Let's look at the XML file before we proceed. So unlike the other data, we have all the the you know basically we have a, a straightforward uh, XML file. Uh, you know we have rows, you know, all the employee rows. So we are going to use positions here. So we're going to say, okay, from the first first five would go to page one, first five, the next five would go to page two. Let's start with the basic. So here we have a basic template, and uh, I have uh, if you I, I've mapped the uh, fields appropriately, and uh, I have given the group as. If I look at the group, it's basically the group uh, zero, and if I look at I, mean, I just basically repeated the group here. And I've created a new variable called the total salary, which is the sum of the salary, and I've mapped it here. Let's go ahead and run this. So nothing fancy here. So you, you get all the data in one sheet. So let's go ahead and go to the next step where we are going to use the um, the position to split it. So I have created a new group called the GRP1. I'm going to select a row and I'm going to say position less than 10 and I'm going to sort by department name. So basically I want I want to have a new new group and I want that group to have less than uh, uh, you know less than uh, row number less than uh, 10. Uh, you can always use other uh, other filtering. I would show you. Uh, so let's go ahead and map this group. So I go to tools grouping. So I'm going to map it to group one. So uh, you know, I can see the scope is workbook on workbook one because I I, didn't, I was lazy enough to do it on the top. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So, uh, so this is group two. So I'm going to run it. <coughs> So we see the data. Oh, I have to save it first. I change this to less than ten. Let's start processing. So you see, uh, you know, you get nine rows here. If you want ten rows, you got to make sure it's uh, like less than ten. So you know, I'm not. I haven't tried. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't tried. Uh, uh, you know, in between. I, I don't know how to try it, but uh, you definitely can search for XSL XSL between position between so there are a lot of hits in the web <coughs> so once you have uh, this let's go ahead and create another group group 2 which is going to be position greater than greater than 10 or is this less than 10 let's make it less than 11 and uh, position 2 will be greater than 11 so let's go ahead and do that so in this sheet i have created a new group called uh, position greater than 11 so uh, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, try it out first then now we will remove it so i'm going to go to formulas and i'm going to change i'm going to edit this 
So I, I don't like this Scopus workbook. I'm going to delete the work. I'm going to delete this group and I'm going to recreate it. So I, I'm just going to edit. I'm just going to copy this part. So it's XDO group one. Let's go. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to create a new group. So it's uh, based on X employee details. So XDO <coughs> group. GRP, I think GR dash T, GP dash T, T. So we're going to try it out. So we are saying it's group 2 and it's going to be less than, it's going to be greater than 11. So we should see more than uh, 10 rows here. So try it out. So we see uh, about nine rows, so or ten rows. Uh, I have to see what happens. So let's go ahead and see again. So it's group GRP two. It's less than eleven or greater than eleven. Go ahead and double check to make sure we pick the right group. Yeah, it is the right group. Maybe you know there is only. So let's go ahead and try it out like this. So let's go greater than fifteen. Let's test it out. So we should see lower anyway, less less rows anyway. So that's working. I'm going to put back 11, greater than 11. So let's go ahead and right click this and do a more copy and create a copy and click OK. So it will keep create a new sheet called Employee Details 2 and the Employee Details 1. Let's go ahead and map these uh, groups. So I'm going to go to Formulas. Um, I would see two of them, so let's go. This is employee details, employee de edit, and uh, let's go ahead and map it to employee details one or two. I'm going to map this to two, and I'm going to map the first one to one. So we map the first one to one, employee one, employee details one. Let's go ahead and run this one. So let's make sure it's 11, 11, and run the this is the fourth. So we have two sheets now. We get uh, well, uh, something is not right here. So let's go ahead and look at it one more time. So group one is greater than less than eleven. Group two is greater than eleven. Let's go ahead and take out the sort. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, it's much better. So I think when the sort is there, it, it gets confused. So, so you can see, uh, so you can see the data is split. So this is one way of splitting. So um, I'm going to try another way where we are going to uh, we're going to use the uh, department name equal sales and we're going to split it. Let's go ahead and try that out. So we're going to create a, a, a different way of spl splitting the file. So we have a group one. So we're going to say where department name equals its sales. So nothing else needs to be changed. So let's go ahead and change the name to department employee details, employee sales. And uh, let's go ahead and run this. So you can see all the sales are you know now coming in. Let's go ahead and create a new group which is uh, everything other than sales. So let's go ahead and create a new group. So I'll do this, I'll copy this and I'll paste it here and change the group to group two. Let's go ahead and say not equal to sales. And uh, first let's try here, then we will change the color. Let's go ahead and change this, edit, and uh, I think we're good. We don't have to change anything. Actually, it's group two. Yeah, we just need to change that. So I'm going to change the group to group two. And run it. Let's go ahead and run it. Why oh, yeah, I'll refresh. Just created a new version. 
So you can see all the other departments coming up. So let's go ahead and uh, create the new sheet. So we will cop right click and uh, move a copy, create a copy. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go right click, move a copy, create a copy. So let's name it as uh, non sales. Let's map the groups accordingly. Formalize. So we have group. This is for non sales. So this is group two. It's perfect. For group one, this is the group one. Let's go ahead and map the group one to sales. And let's run it. I've created a version seven. So we have sales and non sales. So I hope this gave you an idea about how do you play with and create multiple sheets um, you know, in different ways. Um, feel free to try it out. I have saved these files in the uh, zip file. So feel free to download and uh, try it out. Thank you and have a great day.